Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Super Kill Every Last One of Them. Uh, I am your I'm your host, Juno Mitri Alexander Blooded, <laughs> and these are my blue lions. <laughs> we have Alex von Internet. Uh, Guten Tag. You could have gone with Alexander Von Koopa, you know. You could have been Alexander Von Koopa for yes. many fucking years. <laughs> Alexander Von Koopa Von Internet. See, there we go. Hi, I'm Alexander Von Koopa. I stole from men on the internet. <laughs> Damn, Vincent Von Koopa. How dare you. I can't you. believe Vincent Von Koopa stole from men on the internet. <laughs> I know, I'm a criminal. <laughs> And we have Scott Von Baritone Blur. I am Scott Von Baritone Blur. And in boss battles, I kill every last one of them! Except the boss. Kill them last! Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, Thank curses! You, I've been defeated, but I can't fall here. I must retreat! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, Hubert. Lol, I died this round. Oh well, good thing I'll respawn next time. Ha <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, obviously we're doing Super Fire Emblem Maker again because, uh, yeah, these are the only two people I have with me. Yep. Hi. So, uh, same deal as last time. If you weren't here for last time or the time before that, uh, basically we come up with the uh, we come up with the setting first, and then the boss, and then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Setting in boss. Oh, yeah, and map objective. Yep. Woo! Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take us over to that Aggie.io after we're done uh, referencing Dimitri. Are we good? Do we have yeah. the Dimitri out? <laughs> uh, we are on Aggie.io. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Last! Okay. <laughs> Dimitri, take Last your... Last what?! <laughs> Dimitri, take your rabies pills. <laughs> Please, Dimitri, take your rabies pills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Dimitri. Yeah, I there see. he is. Dimitri, not taking his rabies pills. <laughs> He's not taking his rabies pills. <laughs> Now he going to Why does he look like a fucking hunchback? <laughs> he's he's like super hunched uh, over in his uh... uh Kill them last. <laughs> Kill every last one of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. That's enough Dimitri posting for now. Okay. Okay. So, uh chat there's like three of you. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Uh, are you... T wait, Alex, are you in there too? I I am in the chat, and it looks like so there are... So what you're saying is there's one of them! <laughs> <laughs> there's one of them! <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> we can't do this... We can't do this without, like, without more than one person. <laughs> more than one of them! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> do we do we need to get like a random generator <laughs> if the chat's yeah, going I... to be a ghost? <laughs> I guess Wait, I do. Dork Princess, I invoke your power to get every last one of them! Oh, there's Superior Iron Spider. Thank you for being no, there. Thank you. you. Yes. <laughs> two whole people! <laughs> two two of them. <laughs> Thank you for thank you for allowing Three me people. not to do that. Oh my god! Uh, no, that shy guy's not here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that shy oh, guy well, says they're not here, so it's only two people. Here, it's only two people. Every last two of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, do you have any suggestions for RN generators? Um, spring hole. <laughs> sure. All right, link me. Cool. Uh, I'll I'll go find a link because opening up a new tab while I have the streams open makes OBS yell at me. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I made him better. <laughs> you did. 
<laughs> I, I I did it. Are are you proud of me? I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Why is Princess Leia here? That's Edelgard. Uh, that's Edelgard. Uh, I'm looking Princess at Springhole's Edelgard. location generators, and I don't think they'll pick, like, location archetype, unfortunately. Oh, um, darn. Oof. Oh, well. <laughs> In the meantime, here's here's a very small Edelgard about to... Guys, Edelgard is, is actually very, very guys, small. She's like 5'2". This is the duo hero. Mm -hmm. This is the next duo hero for uh, for Fire Emblem Heroes. You might not look <laughs> like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> this is top tier. Uh, Gremlin Dimitri and Gremlin, Gremlin, <laughs> Gremlin Edelgard. Yeah, ah, well you see, this is actually my secret scheme. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And their duo skill is they they kill each other they kill and them. you lose the unit forever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hope oh, you enjoy awful? wasting your four five orbs. <laughs> <laughs> four more. Uh, so a I Edelgard found, needs many hugs. I found a different <laughs> fight scene location slash situation generator, and I'm just going through some prompts now. Um, okay. On the backs of a on the back slash backs of a large animal or creature. So, the final map of Awakening. <laughs> Pretty much. What it specifically says is elephants or other large beasties during a stampede, but yeah, it's the final battle of Awakening. <laughs> it's just Awakening. In an asteroid processing ship. That's not going to work for us. <laughs> no. In a oh, library. Ironic. You know, ironically, that's, pro that's probably going to happen sooner or later in the actual campaign, but that's, probably, for, that's yeah. for later. Mm-hmm. Uh... Old ruined castle. I mean, that's just classic Fire Emblem right there. Yep. <sighs> Rooftops of a fortress with a full moon. Uh, same. <laughs> same. It specifies Japanese, but you know, it also says or any fortress. Uh, in a stand of blackened trees, half sunken in desert sand. So desert, also classic Fire Emblem. Yep, pretty much. And we all know how much we love desert maps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, some some of them are okay. At least some of them don't slow you down. Yeah, uh, it, it, mages don't get slowed down. Too bad mages can only move four spaces. Uh, Dork Princess says, "I suggest ancient Egypt." So I guess we could specify that desert map to make it less terrible. Egypt question mark. There we go. Yes. I can see a very slowly appearing potato in the lower right. <laughs> Is that what you make of Claude Von Rake? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. That now it's Claude. <laughs> Claude there Von he is. Yeah. Cla Claude Von Regan. My secret scheme is to overflow them with starch. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Will there be the wind collar? <laughs> Need to give him some arms and leggies. He already had leggies. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, see? Oh, shit. Yeah. This, this was a leggy right here. My bad. Yeah, that's a leggy. A man of many characters asks, what do you guys think about the three houses update for Yaritza and Anna? I don't know. I don't have the game. Help me. I can answer this question. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Anna doesn't have supports. What? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. How dare? You cannot romance Anna. Anna only cares for your money. <laughs> Anna only cares for your money, yes, as usual. Hey, I.S., what the fuck are you doing to my... To my girl. You expect me not... Okay, you know what that's... Now, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. We got five out of a random generator, so that does yeah. help. Yep. Okay. 
Should that shy guy says I was gonna go with Tater Tot Von Regan, but that works too. <laughs> Tot Von Regan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, along with uh along with the special up in French Trail Nut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah apparently new classes are data mine too, like from the Awakening and stuff. Like Dark Flyer is a thing. We can finally have flying tome users. Amazing. Wow. Ooh. Finally, oh, Flyer yeah. Emblem is viable again. <laughs> flyer Emblem is viable again. Flyer Emblem, flyer emblem viable again. Uh, I mean, like, if you like if you use uh, Petra as a Wyvern Rider and, like, Racist as a Pegasus Rider. <laughs> what did you call it? Racist. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, chat, vote. Vote, please. There's only so much we three can do. Especially when one of us is just coloring in Claude Von Patat. Hi. <laughs> vote for every last one of them! <laughs> vote for every last one of them! Claude has brown hair, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. There we got one for library. Two for library. Two for library. If we get one more for library, it's basically guaranteed. <laughs> yep. But what's what books are there? Uh, desert with ruins. So like ancient Egypt ruins. That's a vote for that. Yeah, and then fortress. Okay. It uh, looks like it's two for library. And I think that's all the votes that we're getting. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> everyone in the chat. <laughs> one of the Twitch that's people. One of the people in the chat is me. One of them. One, the other one is you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess we're getting library. All right. <laughs> library it is. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gremlin House leaders. You have to die now. No, not my patat. We'll have to I'm kill every kill last one of them. Not the patat. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna kill Patat Claude because, uh, as you know, on Verdant Wind. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. Patat Claude. Every is... last one Wait, of you're them. You're the same image, right? Mm. Uh, yes, of course. Okay. There's we we gotta there. save Patat Claude and uh, Gremlin Edelgard and uh, Dimitri. <laughs> I just want to finish coloring this little guy in. <laughs> okay. I'm just glad we didn't get anything weird this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch, the boss is gonna be Piss Wizard again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to do that again. <laughs> there we go. Get out of here, Garnet. <laughs> Got it. All right, we don't have enough people. Oh, look at that! Seven people in the chat. Anyways, we don't, we don't really people. have enough people to like vote for the vote for the thingy. So I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna spin the wheel of uh, random being random. Okay. All right. We don't have a wheel. <laughs> Let me list out the objectives. Kill, Kill every <laughs> last one of them. Kill them <laughs> last. <laughs> uh, try to sneak un undetected. And when that fails, and if that doesn't work, kill every last, last one, one of them. <laughs> yeah, snake. This is a sneaking mission. The use of stealth will be required. Oh, but I wanted to kill every last one of them. Snake, this is not a genocide run. Think on your sins. Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> Snake, if you choose to play the genocide route on your first time, I'm going to yell at you in the comment section and tell you that you're doing the voices wrong. Yeah, you aren't my usual kid, you know. I want to have a bad time. Let's bad go. Time. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Colonel, I'm trying to kill Sans, but he's dummy thick. And the clapping of his bone hands keeps summoning blasters. Yeah. I'm... Okay. <laughs> what else we was there? Seize. Seize. Kill. 
kill every last one of them. <laughs> kill blah blah blah, and then seize the throne. Oh. That is completely illegible to all of you except for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then has stroke. <laughs> you aren't my usual kid, you know, Snake. Want to have a bad time? Let's go. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a dice. Roll D four. And it landed on two, so we're gonna do kill them last. Kill them last. <laughs> boss fight last time yep yeah we did oh dear <laughs> it's not it's not gonna be buff hanneman again don't worry okay <laughs> we be bested we did buff, buff hanneman. hanneman we did the buff hanneman thing once already <laughs> good 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 <sighs> that was fun though yeah it was fun <laughs> okay so who, we, we gotta figure out who we gotta kill last now uh, I think we just start color because that'll help yeah. rather than picking weapon and yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Let's start with color. Okay, so I'm gonna put down the weapon colors. Red, green. Hold on. Green, blue, and colorless. Oh wow, we actually have people in the chat now. We can we can vote. Hey, thank hey. you guys. We love you. Okay, so guys. Uh, red, green, blue, or colorless. Vote now on your phones. Mm -hmm. If you don't vote now on your front if you on your phones, we'll kill every last one of you! We'll kill it. <laughs> Alright. There you go, one for green. And that's it. We got one, one for colorless. colorless. Two green. One red. Red. Mm -hmm. One blue. blue. <laughs> one saying jokes on you. I want to die. Uh, well, the best killers are the are the axes I found. So I guess that's green. <laughs> Did somebody say kill? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I guess that's blue then. <laughs> uh we have two greens? Yeah, we have two greens. Uh one from Iron Spider and one from Mana Mana Characters. Ah. Uh. <laughs> one is <laughs> die is not a color. <laughs> I disagree. It's green. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, Jem. the The vote is uh, the vote is for uh, we're make we're creating the boss for the uh for a Fire Emblem map, and we're gonna pick which color it is from Fire Emblem Heroes. So like mm. red, blue, green, or colorless. In the meantime, we make Dimitri dance. <laughs> Dimitri has been trained in dancing. <laughs> Ah, so Dimitri was the strongest after all. Beautiful. Amazing. Bowser, go home. Uh, unfortunately, now we have colored bows from Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, fuck that. I, 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 okay, what what was the point of that? Fuck that, says the man who plays a red bow unit in Curse Throne. <laughs> okay, but honestly, that's because... Honestly, we don't have red bows in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, was no. It, no, no, what was green? We don't. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah. What I'm saying is I don't get... Okay, colorless units were always meant to be the ranged units, so I don't get why they did that. They had melee colorless with the introduction of Robin, and then they had not colorless bows and range, not colorless ranged... <laughs> Well, no, Tomes were already had colors, but like Tomes already had colors, but like the melee, the melee weapon, mm -hmm. the physical weapons. Yeah, it, it's not a complaint. Okay, it's kind of a complaint. It, it's not a huge complaint, is what I'm saying. <coughs> Anyways, thank you for coming to my TED talk.
All right. I wonder what song Dimitri is dancing to, and I'm not surprised that it's probably "It's Raining Men" or "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor." <laughs> okay, so it's I'm seeing heroes isn't the real fire emblem. I'll fight you, but I'll just interpret that as a vote for colorless then. <laughs> <laughs> the Dimitri dance is hypnotizing. <laughs> you are getting very sleepy. Your <laughs> eyes are getting heavy. When you wake up, you will want to kill every last one of them. Uh, yeah. Is, Dimit- is Gremlin Dimitri going to be our boss? Yeah. <laughs> Only if we get blue. <laughs> You're, get it. You're getting very sleepy. Wait, your eyes, Dimitri? <laughs> eyes plural, Dimitri? <laughs> oh. Your eye singular is getting very sleepy. <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> very sleepy. <laughs> Okay, um, looks like votes tied between green and colorless. Alright, flipping a coin. We have to be the tiebreakers, then. What do you think, boys? Colorless it is. Sorry, oh. Gremlin Dimitri. I was gonna just put a point down for myself, but okay. Uh, I, 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 did a, I did a coin flip. Here okay. Enough. Wait a minute, what color was Buff Hanneman again? Blue. Blue. Okay, good. Yeah, cool. It's a blue gauntlet. All right, so colorless, that takes out sword, spear, and axe. That helps. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh that's right, I have the... <coughs> Which means it can be a bow, a staff, for whatever reason, if you wanted to make our boss a staff. Um, a, a, a dagger, a gauntlet, or a furry. Or Dagron. I know what I said. Oh yeah, you're right, a scaly, I'm sorry. Yeah. A <laughs> scaly. <laughs> <coughs> okay, here we are. Does Dimitri, when Dimitri multiclasses, multiclasses, hello. Um, wow, I've forgotten the terms of my own favorite game series. <laughs> class changes. When Dimitri class changes, does he have a preferred weapon type? Uh, he has, his primary weapon type is lances. Uh, right. his other, I think his other proficiencies are in, uh, lan- I haven't played Blue Lions yet. I just know the story because I was spoiled a lot. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know Dimitri's proficiencies. I know definitely Lance is one of them. I, I never would have guessed. Well, that's a quick look on the wiki. <laughs> Let's take a quick look in the Fire Emblem wiki. Yeah. As for votes on what weapon type, I'm going to go ahead and count the earlier bows or nothing as a vote for bows. Unless I hear okay. otherwise. I'll happily do the tallies if you want to do the search for Dimitri. <laughs> yes, I'm searching for Dimitri right now. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, one for, one for bow, two for doggo. Two for doggo. There ain't no colorless so- Oh wait, sorry, I was about to say there aren't no colorless swords, but I think that's guessing what Dimitri's other proficiency was. My bad, other Alex. No worry. Uh, another for- Oh wait, more for Doggo! Two more for Doggo! I guess we're doing Doggo. That's pretty overwhelming Doggo. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Dimitri's proficiencies are in sword, lance, uh, and authority. And he has a budding talent in writing. I don't know what those last two are. Uh, authority is basically how strong your battalions are. Ah. Uh, yeah. How well you command your battalions. So which is also then. a new thing. Yeah. Huh? So cheating, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cheating if it's in the game, Scott. You're using it- multiple units against one. No, 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 no. But enemies can use battalions too, as I've learned the hard way. I am so sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have to kill a colorless beast in a library. Okay. Yeah. I know it doesn't matter, but I'm going to put a vote towards staff because I think it would be absolutely hilarious to fight a staff boss. I am yeah, like a fight, yeah, you, think it's funny it. na- you think it's funny now, but when you what we'll, we'll when you fight in Loki? <laughs> So it was whatever. <laughs> I mean, by the time I fought Loki, I had a team full of game breakers, so um Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to mo did you want to uh, use your dazzling staff? Well, this is my. Uh, have, have you ever met my friend Null C Disrupt? <laughs> uh, my friend was Lewin. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Lewin is. Yeah, Lewin soloed the last part of uh, of Fire Emblem Heroes Book Two. Honestly, <laughs> I am I the am... ruler of flame, and I'm Lewin. <laughs> <laughs> Lewin is a bard. Mm -hmm. Of course he would. All right, so we're battling against the colorless furry in a in a library. Superior Iron Spider suggests, can it be an owl? Maybe it could be an owl. Yeah, we we Ooh. haven't discussed movement type, but uh Oh shit. I'm just going to say flying because owl sounds cool. Yeah, owl sounds <laughs> awesome. Okay, so it's burb. Burb is bored. There's my beautiful flying icon. Look, look at how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Graphic design is my passion. Incredible! <laughs> I I love it so. That works what the, for you, though. What the hell just happened to tank my bit rate? <laughs> oh no! It's the horse. Mm -hmm. Light horse, no! <laughs> <laughs> And why have you forsaken us? I'm gonna save our settings, and then, uh, and then we can go ahead and design this owl boy. Cool. You receive no sympathy, child. I wish to kill every last one of them. <laughs> uh, there's this one giant monster thing in like Avatar: The Last Airbender that was like an owl, that was like a barn owl in a library. <coughs> <laughs> Cinematic parallels. Who knew? Cinematic parallels. The universe goes far. Ooh. Oh, derpy owl, okay. It's the Duolingo <laughs> owl! <laughs> it's the no. Duolingo owl! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> no, I'm not actually going to make it the Duolingo owl. <laughs> But you are still making it derpy, apparently. I'm not making it derpy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, check out that really realistic Duolingo Al costume outside. How long has it no. been since you last did Duolingo? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> no. Dude. Do your Spanish. Do your Spanish. <laughs> Woo! Uh oh, looks like you haven't done your Korean. You know what happens next. Hoot! Hoot! <laughs> I can make this the joke because I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens next. <laughs> you know what happens next, plays Waltz of the Meatball Man. <laughs> What's that? You haven't started practicing your Italian? You know what that means. Pizza time intensifies. <laughs> but, did somebody say what's up the meatball man? <laughs> oh no, Phoenix Rising says it's the owl from Zelda. Run before he traps you in a dialogue loop. Oh, so basically, dana, 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 dana. <laughs> Every turn it has a random conversation with a party member in a random language. If they answer oh, properly, it ignores them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, would you like me? Would you like me to repeat that again? Yes. No. Fuck. No. No. <laughs> I hate this. I've never heard this before, but I hate it already. It's it's the Waltz of the Meatball Man. What is Waltz of the Meatball Man? Uh, it's the Waltz of the Meatball Man, Scott. Okay, but what is Waltz of the Meatball Man? <laughs> Look it up after the stream. <laughs> yep. Um. 
what is that on my monitor that you just drew? Uh, that's that's the owl's eyes. No, no, next to it. That's the meatball man. <laughs> that's the meatball man. Ah, I see. So that's what it turned. It's, ah, I see. So this owl was a shifter. <laughs> the owl took a giant dump and it became the meatball man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm just gonna just, uh, fucking. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, tune in uh, next week for uh, Man on the <laughs> Internet for Meatball Man the Musical. <laughs> Meatball oh, Man. <laughs> Little Runmo the musical, only me exclusively the Meatball Man song. Uh, <laughs> you, if you're afraid, you should be. <laughs> I will teach you fear. <laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I was half tempted to write lyrics for the Meatball Man song. <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> because it's just so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I know you're not finished with this thing, but it just looks like a giant hand puppet at the moment. Hang on, hang is that, on. Hang is on. that, is that what this thing is? is? Is it just... It's not It's not at all. It's just a guy with a giant owl hand puppet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ho! Owl, owl ribbit the owl here! Owl ribbit the fuck! Here! I have a joke for you! What is a skeleton's favorite snack? What is it, Mr. Owl? Guess! I, I actually don't know the punchline to this joke. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to remember the username of the guy who did it, but there is a video that was released on Halloween, uh, like, Mr. Bones tells a joke or something. <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up real quick and Thank put it in you. chat. You're uh, not seriously making this the the hand puppet, are you? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> I want to have a relatively serious game this time. <laughs> relatively serious. It, yeah, you know it's us, so it's gonna it's gonna be somewhat funny. But I want, <laughs> <laughs> but it's certainly gonna be a step up from a garbage dump and piss wizard. <laughs> no, that's for sure. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Glowing red eyes of evil. I am the knowledge keeper. I keep knowledge. I want a pony. No. I am not the pony keeper. Two I am ponies. the knowledge keeper. Uh, where can we I find the pony knowledge. keeper? The pony keeper is my neighbor. He's very loud because he has so many ponies. Okay, there thanks. so, so Thank many you. ponies. You're welcome. Thanks, Santa. I am the knowledge keeper, and I have the knowledge of where to find the pony keeper. <laughs> uh. No, 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 wait. Actually, keep talking. Keep talking as the character. I need to do this. Okay. I am still the knowledge keeper. What sort of knowledge can I impart upon you today? If you wish uh. to have my knowledge, you must pass my test. Okay. All right, uh, uh, I want an Xbox. If you want an Xbox, you must pass my test, and it's not multiple choice. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I will hand out the test. Do you have a number two pencil? <laughs> I have mechanical. Does that work? No! You die! <laughs> Lasers come out of his eyes. <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, I posted a link to Skullboy loves to tell jokes with his friends in the uh, in call. Thank you. Uh. Oh, there it is. First comment. First comment to give the name. It only took us. Uh, wow! Look at that. I'm actually quite impressed. It was 39 yeah. minutes. We're, yeah. Wow. We're way up. Yeah, we guessed three and then five being generous until time to your reference. Yeah. Uh, of yeah. course, the owl is very fluffy because it's an owl. Fluffy borb. 
I like the fluffy borb. And I will take a look at this link during the break. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> wow, this, oh, it's wait, only been I, 40 minutes? This is the fastest we've ever done this. Is it? I, I guess it is. Hang on. Probably because we to... streamlined it. <laughs> yeah, we, we figured out the process and we're streamlining it. <laughs> I'm going to give this owl, because I don't know any better. Heterochromia? But, fuck you. How dare you get it? <laughs> this is my knowledge eye. The other eye is my laser eye. <laughs> One shoots knowledge. The other shoots lasers. <laughs> I'm not actually going to give him laser eyes. And believe me, I know how to use it. It's you! <laughs> I know these eyes like the back of my hand. You don't have hands. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> I know these eyes like the back of my wings. <coughs> hey, that's new. <laughs> I can turn my head 180 degrees. Is that the trick? Turn it 360, though, so if you keep going so around just... me, I'll probably not see you. Yeah, then I'll have to go the long way around to see you, and it will be inconvenient. <laughs> that That's how we beat him. We, we make it like the, the Luigi's Mansion boss, where we just have to twist his neck around enough times where he finally gets just... We just have to twist it off. And then we just suck him up. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You mean Bowser? <laughs> It's from Bowser. It's from Bowser. It's from Bowser. Yes, we know owls cannot turn their heads 360 degrees. They would snap their necks and die. <laughs> we gotta rescue the Bernie. Did someone say Bernie? <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> I'm not putting Karen from the three houses in this map again. <laughs> Karen has been no. slain for now. <laughs> Karen is dead. Erica no, no, Lindbergh no, she, said she's so. not dead. She uh, she uh, went to a farm upstate. <laughs> no, Erica Lindbeck sealed her away. Karen is no more. Uh, well, anyways, this is the knowledge keeper. <coughs> now we got to do the map. All right. This thing we got to do. Just put a bunch of a bunch of um bookshelves everywhere yeah they, they don't uh, really make sense the non-fiction is directly next to the fiction yeah ah! <laughs> the dewey decimal system is for shit <laughs> hold on hello i am the meatball man <laughs> Yeah, it's me, Meatball Joker. Why do you have such a not funny attitude? <laughs> I'm glad that Curse Throne is a very casual stream. <laughs> okay, real talk though, we gotta get this library drawn. Okay. So library. let me divide this into kind of a square. <clears throat> Huh. There we go. Something something so something something society. <laughs> we live right. in a society. Now of course the knowledge gamers rise, rise up. <laughs> gamers <laughs> Gamers rise up. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Veronica, you're just sleeping with all the jocks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my tower. I'm sorry it's so messy, but I get so twisted from all these towers. Oh, all these towers have me tilted. And tilted, I'm sorry. Wow, you're not very good about uh, putting up furniture there, Joker. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> you're not very good about putting up furniture, Mr. J. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the knowledge keeper will be up here. Overlooking all of the knowledge. Cool, cool. Awesome. <clears throat> Is 
This presents a conundrum. How so? Which can easily be remedied by adding a balcony. Mm -hmm. I think I just realized the motivation of this boss. No one is being the fuck quiet. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. No yelling in the library! <laughs> Flaps wings. <laughs> You were not care. You were not quiet in the library. Now I will kill every last one of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! I just want to read my po uh, 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 the books in peace. No, stop! Your what? We do not have that in our collection. Get out of here, you heathen! <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the cate the categorical list of erotic pottery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the real talk, uh, one of the last times I went to a library by my old house, there were some uh, high schoolers in there smoking a doobie, and one of them's like, dude, I, I hear I hear, I hear, hear in the anatomy textbooks, there's like, there's like a boob. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course there are. It's anatomy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who touch it? It's a nice library because he's the knowledge keeper. So these are curved stairways. Mm -hmm. And of course, there has to be tons and tons of books behind him. These are bookshelves, I swear. Yep. We don't have erotica here. I'll kill every last one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that somehow. All of these non-canon Fire Emblem Maker sessions are connected. Like somehow <laughs> we got from Area Fifty One to uh, not Area Fifty One, the Fifty First Fort. You're yeah. right. I'm sorry, the Fifty First Fort, and that just dumped us in. That just dropped us into the dump, and somehow we just got here. I mean, no, no. I mean, I could put Angel Eyes in here, but I've also got another character. I don't think we have art for him yet, though. That being said, just imagining Angel Eyes is being thrown into random locations, Ming. I want to get another fucking use... game! It's just so funny. <laughs> I have the sketch. I can, I can make the token. <laughs> oh, nice. I guess I'll just use a random character that I have from the... Alex, I showed you the sketch a long time ago. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay, because it exists. It exists. I don't know which character I would use then. You can pick one of your own. Yeah, it's probably easier to pick one of your own because then I don't have to make another token. <laughs> yep. I suppose. And then, of course, we're going to have bookshelves because, well, more bookshelves because this is a library. Oh, you gotta be quiet. Shh. <laughs> what? You made noise. You have angered the knowledge keeper. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you've angered the knowledge keeper again. This happens every damn time. Dang it. Why do you keep angering the knowledge keeper? Because it's fun. Yeah. Who turned That's on fair. the printer? You have angered the knowledge keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Who jammed the scanner? You have angered the knowledge keeper. Hey. Who is going on cool math games on the directory computer? You oh, have angered the knowledge my keeper. Jam. <laughs> hmm. There appears there appear to be some crumbs in the science section. Who has angered the knowledge keeper? <laughs> Are you playing interactive, buddy? You have angered the knowledge keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want the knowledge keeper to be a real character in a real stream now, just because of this. It's funny. <laughs> oh shoot! I think I forgot. Oh, shoot! I think I forgot to words. Oh, shoot! I think I think I forgot to feed my dog this morning. Who I have angered the knowledge keeper. <laughs> this book is passed overdue by three days. You have angered the knowledge keeper, but not as angry as I would get if it was a week. Yeah. Pay me five cents. <laughs> <laughs> It's the fine before the... No, no. first you get paid a fine, then you get murdered. You... Yep. You left the toilet seat up! You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> Janitor, I must speak to you. You have backrolled the toilet paper. Thus, you have angered the knowledge keeper! 
<laughs> the knowledge keeper <laughs> has been angered. <laughs> Thus, you have <laughs> angered the knowledge keeper. Are you assuming that I do not use a toilet because I am a large owl? You have <laughs> angered the knowledge keeper further. <laughs> I brought in birdseed. You attempt bribery by bringing food into a library? You've double angered the knowledge keeper. <laughs> I'm glad we're characterizing the knowledge keeper now. <laughs> so I don't have to do it on the fly. <laughs> I see that the only thing they value is just knowledge. They are just extremely overreactive. Yeah. <laughs> we have some what? of the best we have some of the best fire emblem bosses on these streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who put this book in backwards? You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm convinced that the knowledge keeper is possessed by the spirit of Gremlin Dimitri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who put Batman in the manga section? You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> right, That's gonna... nothing. Who put Sailor Moon in the comic section? We have some piles of books over here. Yeah. Of course, they got to be some different colors. You're using the community smash day we intended for children to bring your unwashed, ugly ass self to play melee? You've angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> Take a bath and wash your hands! You didn't wash your hands after using the restroom? You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> You're using dog ears on a library book? That's fair, I do that too. <laughs> no, Community Smash Day. You're playing Duck Hunt a low tier? You have double angered the Knowledge Keeper! <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, but but for real, I, I back in Smash 4, I, I mained both Pac-Man and Duck Hunt, so... That's fair. Yeah. You can if you want. <laughs> Not illegal. You're spamming King K. Rules projectiles? You've... No, wait, sorry. You're spamming PK fire? You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> you deem Pac-Man a low tier? You have angered me. Me. You, you've angered me. Why, why, why would you You've angered that? me, Pac Scott. Pac-Man's awesome. <laughs> Pac awesome. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Of course, the library has to have a reception desk with a, with a very drab librarian. To go with the knowledge keeper. Uh, oh dear, you've angered the knowledge keeper. I'll get them up. <laughs> they, they just have a very passive janitor in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that the ally <laughs> unit? Or is that no, no, no? Wait, wait, no. The janitors are are the army units, the red units. <laughs> the janitors. Just a oh, bunch no. of extremely stoic, passive janitors. Oh my god. Get them, my army of incredibly stoic janitors! They're all using brooms, which, as you know, are just lances with a, ton just, with a, with a thousand tiny points. Mm -hmm. Unless the unless the the mops are incredibly dried out, then they could technically be axes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think that's enough for the library of the of the knowledge keeper. <laughs> All right. Okay. This pleases the knowledge keeper. Maybe give a slight drop shadow to the stairs so we know we can climb them. Yes, that's a good idea. Ah, uh, yes, depth perception. <coughs> this pleases the knowledge keeper. <laughs> the knowledge keeper can be pleased and angered <laughs> just by depth perception. <laughs> That is its one weakness. I admire the use of two-dimensional drawings to represent three-dimensional space. <laughs> you may pass. Optical illusions, they please the knowledge keeper. We, you know what we've done? We've essentially created that one scene where Mr. Krabs is like saying everyone get the fuck out, then he sees the clown and is like, except you, you stay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there, we got, we got some depth perception. We have pleased the knowledge keeper. Yay. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh. Ah, the knowledge keeper is pleased. <laughs> You have pleased the knowledge keeper. <laughs> Brilliant! There's a shine, therefore it is two dimensional. This pleases you the You refer to keeper. it, you, read, you mean you refer to it as three dimensional, but yet you say two dimensional, <laughs> therefore making an error? This I, angers! No. You have angered I'll, I'll, the knowledge I'm keeper! So, I'm sorry, my, I'm sorry, my liege, I'll, I'll fix it. Behold! Ah, uh, yes. The illusion of a three-dimensional pyramid on a two-dimensional space. This <laughs> pleases the knowledge keeper. Knowledge keeper. Are there any spells that can actually do shit like that? I forget. Please the knowledge keeper? No, just create these three-dimensional objects at a two dimensional I, I don't think Calamity Gale can do anything like that, can it? Uh, if I remember correctly, the... Uh, okay, and so in Three Houses, the uh, the dark magic effects have uh, these very geometric uh, effects on them. Like, Miasma has a... Miasma has a bunch of squares. Well, shit, we haven't implemented any Three Houses spells. We're fucked. Yes, we have. Oh, we have. Yeah. Hades, Boar, a lot of stuff. Abraxas... Hades, Abraxas, and what? Boar. Boar X. Oh, Boar, okay. Which is basically Super Meyer. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we got our map, we got our, we got the Knowledge Keeper! And, yeah, we got our objective, which is to kill them last! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll go on break so that we can get all this stuff set up. Sweet. We'll see all y'all. And so I can go to the bathroom. And we'll see all y'all in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. In a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry for the wait. We were just building the map. <laughs> Thank you for the typography. Kill every last one of them. It's -a me, Peter Mario. Kill everyone, like kill every last one of them. Wahoo! Oh, <laughs> Luigi, you're glitching out! Luigi, you're a robot! <laughs> oh no! They've replaced him with the robot, Luigi! The robots have taken over the Navy! Not the Navy! <laughs> Are we good, Scott? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Discord set a waiting endpoint. Oh fuck! Here we go. Okay, I heard a not robot. Fans have no. <laughs> Discord said Fire Emblem fans have no rights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> robot, I'll kill every last one of them. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the, let's move on to the actual playing of the game. Let's do it. Nice music very, choice. Very fitting for a library, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let me set the scene. You have entered the library of the Knowledge Keeper. You seek to return a book. It is slightly late. But you just couldn't put it down. <laughs> it was such a good book, and you had to glean through every last bit of information in that book. Because, you know, it was such it was just so good. So what you're saying is we had a bit of it. Yes. <laughs> yes, Scott. You had to read every last bit of it. Every last one of those words. <laughs> read every last one of them. Uh, what is it? What is? What does the book contain? The book contains the secrets of the universe. Although a lot of it is written in owl language, so... Uh... <laughs> You had you you had to mostly glean the annotations. There is only there is but one in the entire kingdom who could possibly reveal the true secrets of this book to you, and that is the knowledge keeper. The <laughs> The guardian of this library and the mighty keeper of knowledge, 
if you couldn't tell from the name. However, as this book is a little bit overdue, there stands a chance that you may have angered the Knowledge Keeper. Well, I, I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. Eh, probably not. Well, no sense in just standing around. I mean, regard, disregarding the chicken scratch itself, it's it's still something worth a concern that we should turn in. Excuse uh, me, can miss. Can I help you too? Um, yes. You wouldn't happen to know where we, where, uh, who we should turn this to, would you? Ah, yes. Uh, the knowledge keeper is just upstairs. The... He can certainly translate that. He can certainly translate the owl tongue to you. The knowledge keeper. Uh, yeah, it's the keeper of knowledge. Yes. Uh, well, I'll see if I can. T I I'll see if I can t help you talk to him right away. Here, let me see that book. Oh. Oh, this book appears to be a little bit overdue. Well, I'm sure it'll be okay. Much obliged, man. All right. Okay. As Charles and Mianir, uh who tread through the library, led by the assistant librarian, you hear the distant screech of an owl. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen the knowledge key for himself, but I'm sure it doesn't sound... Uh, I'm sure I'm sure he is I'm sure he's more than willing to help despite your book being slightly overdue. Right, of course. I mean, that would only be reasonable. It is a library. He is a benevolent keeper of knowledge after all. I right. certainly hope so. The hoo hooing gets a little bit louder gets a little louder as you traverse the uh, bookshelves, the, en the seemingly endless bookshelves of the Knowledge Keeper's library. You see a congregation of mages, all deep in study, it appears. Scholars, a lot of them. Uh, Mianir, you would uh, very greatly love to talk to them about their studies. Like, oh hell yeah, I mean, studying, that is my jam. Uh, any, anything in particular <laughs> they are studying? <laughs> yes. Uh, they appear to be studying various. They appear to be studying various aspects of the arcane. Uh, the dark bishop is more interested in the dark arts. Sages are more interested in the faith magic. Uh, the gremory is interested in both black magic and faith magic. The maid is just kind of there to clean. <laughs> she's helping. <laughs> she, yeah, she's, she's helping. Doing her best. Hey, listen, listen. These books get dusty. <laughs> right. Uh, books are nice, but I'm I'm personally more keen on reading the future of those who uh, who see it as well as uh, the hearts of others. Well, if you're if you're, if you're interested in the romance section, uh, that should be down the hall to the left. Yes. yes well, thank you. Mm. The assistant mm. librarian walks up to the uh, walks up to the center, and she uh, claps her hands. Three times, just as she was told to, <laughs> just as she was trained to when she yeah. was going under, undergoing assistant librarian training for the knowledge keeper. Again, she has never met the she has never met this mysterious being. Mm. All she knows is that it's apparently an owl. You hear the boosh, boosh, boosh of large taloned claws or clawed <laughs> talons, I suppose. Emerging from the top of the stairway, over the balcony overlooks a mighty owl with two sets of wings and gleaming red eyes that dart from that his head darts from left to right, overlooking the library, and he says, "Who has summoned the knowledge keeper?" Ah, that that would be me. Hi, hi. Um. 
These two are looking to translate the secrets of the universe as shown in, you know, this this tome, this appropriately appropriately labeled the secrets of the universe. Ah, yes. The secrets of the universe. If I recall that book was lent out perhaps two weeks ago and is hmm, according to my records, slightly overdue. This slightly annoys the knowledge keeper for as you know my wrath does not come in full force until after a week though it grows steadily more intense over as the week wears on as such i shall offer you seekers of knowledge a grace oh well it's awfully kind of you uh, knowledge keeper. Uh, that's um, nice, says Mjolnir, who has just been looking over the dark bishop's shoulder this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You are interested in the dark arts as well. Oh my god, fucking stop. Well, the nature of this grace is simple. You must pass my trial. That way you don't have to pay the fine. Because honestly, I, I'm a gigantic owl. I have no, I have little to no use of money. I have all the knowledge in the world. The knowledge keeper spreads his wings and gestures to all of the books in the library. You say something about a, a trial, good sir, but what would this trial entail, if I may be so bold to ask? Indeed. Prove yourselves the superior strategical intellect, and I will deign to translate to you the secrets of the universe. Someone pinch me, I might be in heaven. Charles pinches the, the dragon next to him. Okay, not in heaven. This works, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps this is not heaven, but this is the vastest tro treasure trove of knowledge in all the kingdom. And it would do you well to survive my trial. Now, to your places. The knowledge keeper spreads his wingers again, and a glowing <laughs> and a glowing starting line <laughs> appears in the back of the in the back of the library, <laughs> just at the end of the just at the very end of the corridor at, at the end of the at the edge of the carpet. Do you like my carpet, by the way? <laughs> it's eh. wonderfully crafted. Eh? You have angered the knowledge keeper! <laughs> <laughs> I take great pride in my carpet! The, the knowledge keeper has been angered! Okay. Scholars! They demand the trial! Well, now you've done it. <laughs> oh, what did you do this time? Me? You just... <laughs> Look, all I said is that this is a shitty carpet! You know what? Don't worry about it. All of the scholars turn their attention towards you. They shut their books and pick up their various offensive tomes. The Dark Bishop that <laughs> the Dark Bishop that Mianir was uh, studying over the shoulder of uh, gently shuts the book and he says, Oh, it's 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 honestly no 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 hard feelings, of course. Uh, we are a part of the trial after all. Whatever. After, th after this, we can all go ahead and go on studying. I mean, if you are intact after this, yes. The dark bishop flickers for a moment, <laughs> and he says, "Well, that I suppose, if 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 that is true." <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Juno, remind me again. Do bond and or no way. Yeah, do allies count towards skills uh, such as bond and form and whatnot? Allies do count towards bond and form. Okay, thank you. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, do you want to swap spaces or something or no? I just assumed anywhere on the starting line was good, so... Okay, well... I guess yeah, my anywhere... first question is... Uh, okay, first of all, I'm assuming all of these characters are promoted. Yes, they are all promoted classes. Okay. Um... 
My main concern at the moment is are the sages, so may I know their stats? Yes, sages stats. Uh, one second. Let me find that on the handy dandy new new and improved sheet. Mm. Sages have 42 HP. Okay. 31 attack. Okay. 26 speed. Alright. 7 defense. And 30 res. Okie dokie. And their weapon? Oh, uh, yes, that's actually important now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sage on the right has. Elf is equipped with Elf Thunder and Warding Stance 2. The sage on the right oh, is the same. <laughs> what about the sage on the right, though? <laughs> the sage on the left is the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. That helps for them. <coughs> um. Do we want to check the? Why not? Since he's right there. Yes. Okay. So the Dark Bishop. Same stats as the state. Uh, same stats as the Sage. Uh, this one is equipped with the Grand Owl. You actually did it. I did it, yes. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Run. Ow. It's a might of 11. No, 9. Okay. Works for me. <coughs> this, should be, this should be relatively um, easy. But oh. this one has close counter. Which one? Uh, the one on the staircase. The dark bishop on the staircase. Of course it does. <laughs> and the maid? The maid. The maid's stats, first of all, are... One second, let me check. Go ahead. Uh, 43 HP. 43 HP. 29 attack. 29? 30 speed. Oh, okay. Maids are quick. Six defense. Six defense. And 33 res. All right. I'm glad I picked um, the dragon for all these mages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's equipped with... Uh, her weapon is melancholy. Oh. Oh, wait. We don't have specials. No, you don't have specials, so this is completely pointless. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as well as physic and live to serve. I'm sorry. Repeat their uh, their skills. Uh, her skills are physic and live to serve. Just live to serve three. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. I think that's good for the time being. Okay. Then go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see. Um, Dark Bishop has 26 speed. What has 7 defense? So... Somebody in the chest says, This is a roundabout. This is kind of a roundabout way to pay a fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? 25 cents if we just paid the fine? The fine is your life because you insulted my carpet. <laughs> your carpet is shit, and you know it. <laughs> Alex, what are what are what are Miranir's, uh skills? Mianir. <laughs> uh, Mianir has Fortress Defense one, Fortress. Vengeful Fighter one, Zvalin mm -hmm. Shield, and his personal skill, Armor Like Tenfold Shields. If Mjolnir has over 25% HP, foes cannot move through a radius within two spaces of him, and allies within two spaces get defense and res plus three during combat. Ooh, that is nice. So he's basically a walking tower. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I do like this. I like this. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say... Okay, let's, let's see something for a second. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, so as long as Mianios stays away from this general area, he's good. They're they're blue mages. I think he's fine. Oh wait, yeah, he'll be okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Oy. Sorry. The, the green line, the the green glowing starting line is covering them both. <laughs> he's green. Yep, there he is. Um. He's green. I think... Oh, yeah, if anything, Charles is the one in danger. But no, they can't reach him anyway, so... I think... Yet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have Charles... Ooh. I could benefit from Bond, but let's see. If I stayed here, I would get plus one to my stats. So... Seven defense... 42 HP. I'm doing the math myself here. Um, longbow is... Wait, longbow is 12 might? What? Excuse me? That can't be right. It is. Um, okay. We'll talk about it later, Scott. Yep. <laughs> sure. You want to position Mjolnir a little closer so I can snipe the Darkfish? Maybe just a space closer? Uh, yeah, I can move in the rest of the way after, I think. Yeah, sure, that works. So, I think... No, wait, no. Uh, let's try... No, because it's two spaces, so... Yeah, you need to be to within three. One. Yeah. So, just one space closer? All right, so I'm gonna with both um, form and bond. I'm gonna ship here. <coughs> okay, uh, let me open up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So thirty plus the longbow's might of twelve, plus five for attack speed bond, and plus hang four on, hang for on, slow attack down. speed bond. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's cool. So you were saying? Eight. All right, thirty plus twelve, so that's forty-two. Plus 5 from Bond is 47. Plus 1 from Form is 48. 48 okay. attack. Okay, let me go grab the, uh, grab the Dark Bishop stats real quick. Do I even need to? What, what, wait, do I even need to? <laughs> 7 defense? Um. <laughs> yeah, and also he can't counterattack. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, he can't? I thought he... You're because out of range with the longbow. Yeah, you're out of range. Oh shit, you're right. Bomb. Yeah, so all I need is the all I need is res, not res. It's a defense, which is seven. seven. Wow. Where did I put the damage sheet? There it is. <laughs> That's gonna be, and it's triangle advantage too. So like, <laughs> death, death to all. F. <laughs> F. <laughs> Labor text, my friend. Okay, so, Charles, you, uh, you take your longbow, and you, uh, draw it, and you, uh, fire at this dark bishop. The dark, the dark bishop flickers again, and then he gives a thumbs up, and then goes back to reading his book, leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Does he just take an arrow, and then it's just like, cool, I'm done. The here. arrow is still sticking through his plague yeah. doctor mask. <laughs> okay, finally, you're stop fighting. Now, let me just get back to reading over here. <laughs> so be serious, please. I'm very serious about the landing, man. Let. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Abracadabra, this is now a you cannot pass zone, so Charles can't be attacked this turn. Yay! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Mjolnir, you uh, walk up to the Derek Bishop and start reading over his shoulder. <laughs> Thou shall not pass! Alright, so within two spaces of Mjolnir. So these spaces are all off limits. <laughs> mm -hmm. so the sage has to go the long, long way around. So Mjolnir is a living obstruct. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> they can't even pass into range. Okay. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> Four, five, six. They're trying so hard. <laughs> and they got so One, far. One, two, three. No, yeah, wait, no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No one gets near me, I'm near. Uh, I think to make Ventral Fighter actually work, I think they can move into range, just not through. Let me look at the thing again. I... It says foes cannot move through. Yeah. <laughs> so I assume it's working like obstruct where you can't like get into the space and then... Okay. If that's the hold case, on. I might need to relook at Vengeful Fighter because some. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Uh, I forget how Obstruct works because I haven't really used Obstruct. <laughs> I got it. I got it for you. I uh, have the skills document open. No, no, no. I just need to know whether you can move into the space. It, it, like, but you can't move past it, or uh, if you can't, just can't move into the um, space. Period. Units foes cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit. I think in Heroes you can move up to that space, but you can't pass by it. Yeah. But can you... Oh yeah, because otherwise it would be too... Bro like if... yeah. So I know Hana has Obstruct, but you, you can still be attacked. So Yeah, yeah so can... like, you can get up to Mianir, but if you try to move around him, you can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they can still attack Mianir from that... Yeah. If, if, they, if they try to get into, into his radius, they start slowing down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so, so like, the sage... sage can move down there, but can't move down any further. Yep. Otherwise, he has to take a long way around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so this sage is going to go ahead and attack me on here. With some, uh, vastly ineffective light magic. <laughs> cool! Resistance is 31. He's got water breath, so that's effectively 35. <laughs> yeah, and there's also weapon triangle disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is going to do any damage, but let me check. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, still gotta get used to the sheet. So this is gonna be 31 plus the plus four bonus with the attack of four slayer. Okay. I should really bold all of these names so that I can actually find them better. Anyways, yeah. uh, attack 31. 31 and a weapon. Why do I keep going to the wrong tab? I'm used to I'm used to tapping through everything. It's oh no. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Elf Thunder has a might of six. So that's gonna be uh, with triangle disadvantage. <laughs> I, is there a draft you know, in here? In hindsight, that wasn't such a good idea, was it? <laughs> is there a draft in here? No, I, I think it's just you. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the sage closes the book and just kind of sits down, he's scribbling notes. <laughs> Uh, faith magic, not very good against green dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. The sage is going to come up to... This other sage is going to come, come up to me in the air. Same result. Dink! 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 Uh, may I copy your notes? Yes, you may. Just try not to change... Just change something so that it looks a little bit different. Oh my god! Plagiarism in the Library of Knowledge?! <laughs> Plagiarism! This angers the knowledge keeper! <laughs> I'm with you on this one! I don't care how ugly you think my dark carpet is! Yes! Thank you! Finally, someone speaking sense in here! <clears throat> Alright, it's ally phase. The, the maid is gonna move up. Uh, I'm sorry, the assistant librarian who is maid class is gonna move up to a. Uh, this is gonna move up to here. All right. And uh, she's not gonna do much because neither of you really need healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm being helpful. <laughs> okay, player face. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Well, the maid, uh, the maid doesn't have any damaging skills, so there's that. Which maid? <laughs> The maid, not the librarian. Melancholy. Ah. Uh, yeah, mel melancholy is an attacking skill. Yeah, but it, it's a staff unit, so it's not wrathful. Yeah, it's not wrathful, though, so, like, mm -hmm. you'll, <laughs> you'll probably do 
<laughs> Should probably do oh, no. I got a scratch. Whatever shall I do? Yeah, just considering there's a gremory up that way, we could just ignore that staircase entirely. <laughs> you could just completely ignore that staircase. <laughs> so we defeated these sages? Not yet. I don't have distant counter yet. Ah, I see. Okay. Yet. <laughs> um, hmm. Do I want to... Hmm... It's the longbow. Screw it. One, two, three. Eyes on me. <laughs> all right. So let me go ahead and uh, calculate all and that I again. And I get plus two from the attack speed form one. Not that it matters, uh, but still. It might, because your weapon triangle looks advantage. All right, so yeah, instead of 47, I have 48 attack now. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Uh... Fix that. Versus the red, versus the fence of the guy, whip and triangle disadvantage. I was gonna, they're still gonna do, still gonna do a hefty amount of damage. But it's just 27. <coughs> He's gonna right. do what? 27 damage. Yeah, so it's 27 damage on the Sage. Which Sage are you attacking? The one to the left or the one to the right? Uh, the one to the left. Okay. Sage cannot counterattack because... Uh, <laughs> you're three spaces away. <laughs> I love snipers. Yay! Uh, does and he double? Does he double? Yes. Let me check. Because attack speed bond and attack speed. Ah, uh, yes, that is true. And speed is 26 anyway, so yes, you do double. So, the sage goes down. I'm sorry. That's what you get for plagiarizing and angering the knowledge keeper. <laughs> Wait, I thought this guy was the one plagiarizing. Ah. Uh, he was enabling it, which also angers the knowledge keeper. <laughs> I hate enablers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to like very much, do you? The list of things that are on my like list is very limited and does not include you, Manlet. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oof. 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 <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and attack that sage? I am, uh... Might of ten. Attack is... 28. Okay. Attack 28. Any bonuses? No? Nope. Nope. Okay. Weapon triangle advantage versus magic. Yes, versus magic, which is the res. Res, uh, one second. Thirty. Why do I keep tapping over the thing? I, I, I keep trying to get to the damage thing, but I keep tapping over to the roll oh, no. 20 instead. Oh no! Oops. The power is just so, too much. It's going to be weapon triangle advantage. It's going to be 15 damage on the uh, sage. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, I doubt you double. <laughs> if beyond your doubles anything, I will shit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe some, maybe, maybe some ar other armored units. But if he doubles, if he doubles anything naturally, yeah. That's oh, why no. I have vengeful fighter. <laughs> yeah, that's why you have vengeful fighter. Won't save you from an armor slayer, but it'll certainly save you from everything else. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no, wait, I have small and shield, that's motherfucker. That's small and shield's job. <laughs> well. <laughs> I love this game. Anyway, it's yep. enemy phase. The sage is gonna have problems getting out of Mjolnir's range. Range. Does this bug you? However, Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> <laughs> the sage is gonna, however, move one down one space and attack Charles. Oh no! Whatever will he do? You yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. You you have weapon triangle disadvantage, so. But I still have thirty resistance. That's fair. And a healer right by you. And a yeah, healer you do have a healer right by you, too, so, like, you should... Okay, so that's gonna you be... You know what uh... else I have? 
What? Attack speed form one in bond and a longbow. <laughs> you do have that, yes. <laughs> so anyway. uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick. That's going to be 14 damage on you. Alright. 14 damage on Charles. Uh, the sage thrusts his hands apart and light magic comes down upon Charles. Lightning comes down upon Charles. Charles, you retaliate with your longbow. <laughs> Uh, we all know how this went the last time, so... <laughs> shrug. <laughs> shrug. <laughs> See, that is what you get for plagiarizing! <sighs> See, there we go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Plagiarizers, am I right? They Thank anger you. the knowledge keeper. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! For the record, I'm at least five foot ten. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. I'm seven foot six, manlet. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he is trying to the fact that he's trying to unemasculate himself. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking way. armored dragon. You will not be unemasculated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, it looks like he did scratch you a little bit with that lightning here. Let me heal you. The assistant the ally phase. The assistant library is going to come around this way so that, you know, we can actually advance. Mm. And she is going to heal you. Ah, much, much obliged, my dear. Uh, you gain back... One second, let me calculate this. Oh, I love... Yes, yeah, so you get that amount of health. You get that amount of health back. <laughs> a whole one hit point. Wow. I get a can't whole... understand yeah. you. Your accent. I can't understand your accent. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you should be a. Uh, you should be fully healed. <laughs> nice. <sighs> All right, nice. player phase. Oh, anytime. Anything you can do to help. That's what we do down to the library. All right, let's see. One. Two. Uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, promoted flyers move six or seven spaces. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, barely out of range. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Womp womp. You know what? It's not a big deal. Doesn't need to be player phase. So one, two, three. Four. If you were, it would be a bigger deal if you were using a if you were using a brave bow, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, I'm just trying to remember the because the maid is uh, an infantry unit. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. A just within this general space, right? Yeah. Well, she can move okay. six spaces, so... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, six. As long as we're not anywhere here, we're good. Oh no, yeah. she might scratch damage us. <laughs> oh no! She might scratch oh, no. damage. <laughs> she might inflict you with a status condition that prevents you from using your non-existent specials. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Charles is good here. Alright. Boom. Congratulations, you've got uh, defense res plus three during combat if he decides to attack you. Thank you. Which you probably won't because you can counterattack. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, unless I decided to hang back, which didn't make any tactical sense. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, Dark Bishop is going to come and uh, cast <clears throat> some uh, cast some Elwind cast some Elwind upon you. So let me go ahead and calculate all of that. Cool. All right. It's gonna be six. Might have thirty. <laughs> the knowledge keeper Might. doubles as a copyright bot. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I am the keeper of knowledge, but I am also the keeper of intellectual property. No copyright law in the universe is gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a neutral hit. That's gonna do one damage. <laughs> Hold on. No, bon no, no bonuses, so yeah, it's gonna do one damage. I'm just gonna assume he doubles because basically anything can double me on here. 
<laughs> yeah, the the Dark Bishop has a speed stat of like 26. So if yeah, it's we'll, 20 we'll... or more, it doubles me on here. <laughs> yep. Oh no, a whole two damage. Oh no, a whole two damage. Oh no. Ow! Uh, I think you broke a nail. Oh god, my! Oh god, my cuticles! They're ruined. <laughs> All right. The assistant librarian does have physics, so she's going to heal that two damage off. <laughs> <laughs> does she not recognize sarcasm? Much appreciated, you know, Seven okay. Girl. <laughs> you know, a broken nail can lead to infection, so be please do be careful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. He proceeds to definitely not be that. Not proceeds to not be careful and buzz, barge in with uh, all of his mighty wall of glory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to step on your head now. <laughs> okay, Ooh. you step on the Dark Bishop's head. Technically, I should say you're breathing water upon him, but... Yeah, technically, I just like flavoring the fact that he's a giant fucking dragon just smacks people instead. He, he creates <laughs> a giant foot of water. <laughs> it's like Bayonetta, but worse. You step on him. He feels moist. moist. I'm never going to say that again. No. <laughs> Thank you for filling in the damage calculator, Alex. You're welcome. Uh, and let's see. That is neutral, so... Oh, shit. The formula, no! There we oh, go. Oh, no, not formula. the formula. All right. Not the formula. I think formula's good. All right. We just need uh, Dark Bishop instead. Yeah, Dark Bishop's uh, thing is uh, 30 res, no bonuses. So that's going to do a total of 8 damage upon the uh, upon the Dark Bishop. So that's going to be uh, it's going to be a total of 34. Oh, I think I broke two nails. Ha, See? It's that. That's you. <laughs> that's the power eventual fighter, bitch. <laughs> He says, initiating attack. <laughs> he says, initiating the attack. I know what I'm doing, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Charles, do you want to finish the job? Yeah, yeah, Charles just sees this whole bickering thing going on, just lets out a deep sigh and... <sighs> <sighs> okay. Pink, what are you attacking with? You know... Do I want to be Mimi and use the brave bow, or do I want to use the long bow? Let's meme this bit. Let's meme this asshole. Brave bow. Thank you for not making me calculate the follow-up attack. You <laughs> use the brave bow. <laughs> you use the brave bow, but you knock your arrows, plural, and you uh, fire them both into the Dark Bishop's eyes. Uh, as this is a spectral dark bishop, as evidence from the previous dark bishop, uh, he is—he appears to be fine and can still use his eyes for a. Uh, he, he can still use his eyes for reading. Well, well, that was a good shot. Nice shot. You got me in both of my eyes. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I need to. I must use the lavatory to uh, remove these. Make sure you wash your hands, bastard. Oh, of course. Not washing the hand, not washing your hands after using the after using the library restroom angers the knowledge keeper greatly. It's true, you know. <laughs> There's not a lot that doesn't anger him, is there? That's turning of in course. a book. That's turning in a book on time, manlet. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just turn this book in. All right, the assistant librarian is going to accompany you as you climb up the stairs. All right. All right. I'm parking my ass over there. <laughs> Excellent. The sage says, unlike those two, I'm not a plagiarizer. I cite all my sources. In which format? <laughs> APA. You monster! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is even enough to anger Charles. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? 
<laughs> MLA doesn't let you use the singular they. <laughs> the maid jumps off. <laughs> the maid jumps off after hearing APA. APA. <laughs> no! Ah, footnotes! Ah. <laughs> As a knowledge keeper, I am versed in all styles of citation. However, MLA is probably the <laughs> MLA is the easiest for all us no seekers of knowledge to use. Because footnotes are tiny and very difficult for my large owl eyes to make out. Oh, we are in agreement on this. Excellent. And tiny handwriting angers the knowledge keeper! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I cannot read the Bible. <laughs> Twelve point pot. Twelve point font. One point one five spaced. That is the proper format. Failure to <laughs> failure to <laughs> failure to follow it angers the knowledge keeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move, Charles. <laughs> oh, sorry, I did it. You know what? Mm. Five spaces. No. Ow. I'm gonna meme again. You have no use for this, but I have nothing else I can do. Take a rally defense. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so helpful against the mage who can't even damage me. <laughs> Charles smirks and says, oh, anytime. <laughs> you ra you rally me on your defense. <laughs> it's very helpful. It's very helpful. <laughs> very helpful. I'm being helpful. <laughs> I'm being. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exalt Prom has wonderful lines. He does. The sage is going to go ahead and bink. <laughs> bink. I should have used MLA on this job. <laughs> Perhaps you should. <laughs> All right, it's a uh, the assistant librarian's turn. She's gonna hang back. She doesn't want to get attacked. But the the staircase is oddly shaped, so uh, yeah, it'll, it'll probably take some. The sage can't reach her anyway, so yep. Shrug. <laughs> Good luck getting past me on here. <laughs> Good luck getting past you. You need like okay, like if me on here is in like this two tile wide space right here, you need like three turns to get through me on here. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting relatively close to it, so I'm going to ask about the hero's stats. All right, the hero's stats. First of all, this hero is carrying a worm slayer. Oh. I see. Ah, game balance. <coughs> yes, game balance. Well, I know who's going to take out the hero then. <laughs> uh, so, and the hero stats are 48 HP. All right. Uh, 28 attack. 28 attack. 16 speed. 16 speed. Ooh. Yeah, he's not very fast. <laughs> That's sexy. 28 defense. 28 so defense. a little bit less sexy. <laughs> and 9 res. What was the last thing you said? 9 res. No, before that. Not as sexy. Oh, yeah. Uh, any skills? Uh, no skills on this one. Cool, cool. No distant counter, thankfully, so yeah. <laughs> yeah! <Go in. laughs> Charles smiles and point just puts a hand to the sage and says, After you. All right. The sage. To Mjolnir. <laughs> Mjolnir is just going to, like, because it's such a narrow stare and he's a fucking armored dragon, body check the sage to the side. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's 15 from the last calculation. Okay, thank you. The sage slams into the balcony, takes 15 damage. I guess that's going to be a 20... <sighs> and of course, he has a rain. Uh, he does have close counter. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, he does not have close counter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he does not. <laughs> Even if he did, it wouldn't matter. So he's close counter, just kind of flailing, trying to slap me on here in the face. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Does this bug you? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching you. 
No, he did have warning stance though, so that is going to be a little bit less damage. But it's still, <laughs> it's he's still not going to do any damage to you. Yep. <laughs> Bashing him against the staircase. <laughs> Back to stage okay. against the staircase, just hold him up for Charles. <laughs> Charles is just gonna unconventionally take four arrows all at once from his quiver and fire at him. Uh, going for fl going for flare. Yeah. All right. It's gonna it's gonna get gonna go ahead and calculate that. Uh, from where? Oh, from there. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me calculate the bond boosts. It's forty-seven. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're using your longbow, or you're using the brave bow? Four arrows. Brave Four bow. Okay. Arrows. Yes. Brave bow. Brave bow. Brave bow. Triangle disadvantage. So it's gonna be twenty-one each. And the sage, sage goes down, lamenting his use of APA. Mianir mm -hmm. <laughs> drops him off the side of the staircase, and he dissipates. He takes himself <coughs> off. I'm going to go study MLA now. <laughs> Good. Be a reasonable person. <laughs> <laughs> You come close to the end of your trial. Defeat me, and the secrets of the universe shall be yours. You humbly accept your challenge. That said, I'm at, at, at enemy phase now. Yeah, the hero's gonna start coming down this way. One, two, ah! Three, four, five, six. <laughs> he takes out his clearly dragon made for killing dragon sword. And starts waving it around. You're being loud in the library! This angers the knowledge keeper! <laughs> I can't do anything about it because I'm a stationary boss, but still! At least for now. Winks at the camera. <laughs> you want to deal with this one, Manlet? Because that would be nice. Oh, by all means, I would love to. But it's ally phase first. It is alley phase, but the the assistant librarian doesn't see much reason to move, so now it's player phase. <laughs> Very well. Longbow. Alright, longbow <coughs> it is. Here we go. Twelve. Uh, let's see. Yeah, attack speed bond. Plus six. Versus the defense of the hero. Which is I should have marked this not uh, twenty eight, sorry, I looked at his rest. <laughs> And that's a neutral hit, so it's going to be 12v12. It's going to be 16 damage each, for each hit. So that's going to take him down to uh, 16 HP. Okay. And he can't really get to Mjolnir because he can't really pass... Yeah, yeah. he's gotten stuck. <laughs> Excellent. 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 Let me just do some calculation really quick. Uh, it would be at disadvantage versus that res. I think Miani would kill him. You want to try? According to the calculation, yes, that's, yep. that's going to kill. <laughs> well, according to my calculations, you're a bitch. <laughs> Fun yeah, fact, no, you, you... did you know? You're a bitch. <laughs> You drop a cascade of water upon upon this man, <laughs> and he uh, slides down the stairs like a rag doll. <laughs> oh dun, no! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He's going up those stairs. <laughs> we warned you about those stairs. <laughs> no, wait, no, we. Hey, Charlie, play me that one about that. Play me that one about falling down the stairs. <laughs> Did you say Charlie? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> do it. No, no, no. Did please. Uh, hey, Charlie, play that one about the one falling down the stairs. Sure thing, Meow Nier! Ding, 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 ding. Brilliant! We're gonna take it on the road! <laughs> ah, excellent! Uh, yeah, the hero sprawls out on the, on the carpet. 
on the uh, non non ugly carpet. <laughs> Does the hero say, "I love it"? I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> the knowledge keeper spreads his wings, and he says, "Ah, yes. Now comes the true part of the trial." You have pleased the Knowledge Keeper with your knowledge thus far. And he starts beating his wings and he goes Does, does that mean we don't have to pay the fine? No, you didn't. You didn't have to pay the fine because you did my trial. Well, you're in the current. You're currently in the process of doing my trial. Now finish the trial, or you will angle the, <laughs> the knowledge keeper. Yeah, well, Alan Fay's first. Just, we aren't going to move. <laughs> uh, life phase. The assistant librarian decides that she's going to assist from a distance because she does have physics and does not want to incur the wrath of the knowledge keeper. So she's going to move three, four, five, six. Down here. <laughs> she's providing moral support. What? Listen, physic, physic can hit from that far too because of her stats. Okay. That's true. So she'll be providing regular support as well. That's fair. Okay, so now that we've reached this part, I guess it's time to ask for those stats. Ah, yes, the Knowledge Keeper. The Knowledge Keeper has three health bars of 50 HP each. Hold on, let me just write that down. 50 times 3, okay. Its staggering blow has a cooldown of two. It has cooldown of two, uh, of two turns, and uh, each of its spaces has two HP. Wait, staggering blow? Uh, that's this. That's like the giant enemy version of the special. Area of effect attack. Ah. Yeah. Its weapon is the Talons of Knowledge, uh, which has a might of sixteen. Unit can counterattack regardless of distance. If unit initiates combat, grants res plus eight, and foe cannot make a counterattack. Wait, motherfucker! <laughs> I've never used vengeful fighter. <laughs> repeat what that was. Uh, unit can counterattack. Unit unit can counterattack regardless of distance. If unit initiates combat, grants res plus eight, and foe cannot make a counterattack. I'm so glad I picked me on here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you oh, never dear. told us the rest of its stats. Sorry, yeah, because I because I got interrupted. Anyways, at three health bars, it gains Fierce Stance 1. At two health bars, Yota's Shield. And at one health bar, uh, Brazen Attack Res. Oh. And its Please. stats are 50 HP, 31 attack, 26 speed, 26. Uh, 17 defense. 17 defense. And 21 res. Fierce Stance 1, Iodis Shield, and Brazen Attack res. I get the strangest feeling this was... Hmm. Hmm. I get the strangest feeling you were expecting uh, us to choose units with magic. This was literally came up, come up with on the fly. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Stares in Mjolnir. <laughs> stares in <laughs> Mjolnir gives a thousand yard stare. <laughs> One day I will, uh, will actually get to use Vengeful Fighter. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> well, until that time comes, may I? Oh, by all means. Excellent. You can knock out one of its health bars now. <laughs> Sorry? You can knock out one of its health bars now. <laughs> On guard! One, two, three. Uh, wrong space. <laughs> oh, right, I can't incur the Wrath of Bonds here. Uh... Womp womp. <laughs> or, 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 yeah, Miano can move. <laughs> Miano can just move, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now you can, now you can use the Bond. James Bond. So you can go ahead and do that. Six. 12, no bonus yet, yes bonuses, because yes, uh, versus the Knowledge Keeper. You will, and I'm fully aware of what I'm saying here, incur the wrath of my bondage. <laughs> <laughs> the, knowledge, 
knowledge keeper the knowledge keeper lets out a long and heavy sigh. <laughs> if you're looking for those books, they're down the hall to the right. Although I would not recommend the one with the fifty and the gray and the whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I see if we've got a horny manlet. <laughs> that is going to be enough to take down one of its health bars, though, so uh, yeah. Nice. Wait, isn't or is? Is. Oh, nice. 55 damage with, with effectiveness. Don't get used to it because that activates the shield. <laughs> no, that activates fierce stance. No, it, it had Fierce Stance when it had three health bars. Now that it's down to oh, two okay. health bars, it gets Yoda Shield. I see. Alright. Yeah, well, I guess it's enemy phase. Yeah, Mayanu oh, yeah, can't reach that, him. so... No, but he's a, he is a melee unit, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. The Knowledge Keeper will come down to Charles... And he goes, ah. he grants uh, defense res plus two or three? Plus three. three. Yes. Uh, so, yes, you will be slightly less screwed. Defense. 21 defense, indeed. It's going to be a defense. It's going to suck. <laughs> but he can only hit me once. Yes. <clears throat> because he doesn't make a guaranteed follow up attack, just prevents others from making follow up attacks. Mm hmm. Mjolnir gives thousand yard stare. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> you again. This is off the creeping. Left its seeds while I was sleeping for like a thousand years. <laughs> oh boy. Gets I promise it won't be as unfair. <laughs> gets the verse where it's the sound of silence and you hear more screaming in the back. Oh, Mianir ah! Mian joins the party. Everyone has fire sweep weapons, but just against Mianir. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, no, I'm not that mean. <laughs> I'll have like probably one or two characters with, with one or two enemies with fire sweep weapons. God. So definitely not with advantage, first mm -hmm. of all. Yep. All right, so it's gonna be twenty-six damage on Chuck. Chuck, Chuck. Chuck. damage. <coughs> okay, though. Let me yeah. do that. Thirty. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh. Scott, you subtracted 16. That's, I said 26. Oh. Oh. 26 damage, not 26 health. Good thing we have a healer, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for the Knowledge Keeper's turn. The healer is definitely gonna go ahead and heal Charles. Yeah. It looks like you need some help. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that's 15 plus 10. That's going to be 25 damage healed off. So I am almost at full health. Yeah, you're almost at full health. So you should be at 39. All right. Okay. okay. Go. <laughs> I just thought of a good idea. Okay. You can't reach, so... I'm gonna... Hmm, actually... Yeah. Longbow again. Alright, so you're gonna hit him with a longbow? Yep, he's gonna have to go around to reach. Yeah, you'll have to go. You'll have to go the long way. <laughs> Yoink! Okay, so it's gonna be thirty, forty-seven six. again, or forty-six. I can't remember. 
48. And he doubles, so... Yes, he does double against the... Uh... So regardless of not having the, we the, uh, the we weapon effectiveness anymore... Mm -hmm. uh, Is that okay, a health bar I hear going down? Not necessarily. No. So that's going to be 17 damage on the Knowledge Keeper. Wait, what? Oh, right, 17 def mm. 28 defense, it says, yeah. Wait, 28 defense. Are you sure you want to use the longbow, Scott? <laughs> actually, no. You, you, brave Bow and Longbow would probably have the same amount of damage output. But brave Bow a little bit less, actually, because you wouldn't be able to outspeed the, the Knowledge Keeper anymore. Well, I mean, I have Bond and Form speed. Oh, you do have Bond and Form. So, possibly. you could. Let's check the math here real quick. All right. So... That would be 12... Okay. So Brave Bow has 5 might, so that would be 35. Plus 5 would be 40, plus 1 would be 41. So 41 minus defense, which is 17. 41 minus 17. That's 31, 30, 29, 30. 24 times 4. That actually might be a better option. Hmm. Yeah. And with the with the Brave Bow versus the... Uh, That's versus with the, the Brave guys, Bow. With the guy's speed, which is 26. You need two more points. You need to get two more points from the bonus, which I think you do, actually. Mm hmm Well, only one thing to do. All quad right. shot. And quad shot the... Okay. So you're going to go ahead and shoot the uh, Knowledge Keeper down. Yeah. So it's going to be 11 damage per hit. So the first two hits do 22 damage. <clears throat> so it's going to be 28 left. The Knowledge Keeper with the flap of his mighty wings. Uh, <clears throat> his talons rake through the air. And a shockwave hits Charles... Uh, for another uh, 26 damage. Mm. Alright. And Charles takes out another t another two hits. And that's going to be dropping him down to 6 HP. Nice. Something just occurred to me. Oh wait, no, you can't reach Charles at this point because... Mjolnir. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to go the long, long way around, and this dead monsters don't get no, don't get a pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Mjolnir looks up from a book he picked up, sees Knowledge Keeper still up, smacks him in the face. <laughs> Bad bird. Tonk. Tonk. He's gonna. Throw I might even calculate that. He has six HP left. Is he, is he really gonna survive that? No, he's not. Nope. Yeah, so the, the Knowledge Keeper is down to one health bar, which it's means brilliant. that Brazen Attack Res is active. The, the Knowledge Keeper like goes, Rack! <laughs> he can't get to, he obviously cannot get to Charles because, you know, Charles is in Mjolnir's safe zone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so instead, the Knowledge Keeper is going to attack Mjolnir. Okay. 16, 31. No bonuses. No bonuses. This is the defense of... 32 plus, I think, Water Breath gives 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be... 11 damage, yes. Alright. 11 damage twice, because Mjolnir's a slow boy. Yeah, Mjolnir is very slow. And, and Mjolnir... Counterattacks. Oh boy. I do have to calculate oh. this one though, because <laughs> Okay. Uh attack is twenty-eight and might is ten. Thank you. So that's gonna be versus the knowledge keeper's res of twenty-one. That's going to be 
Not disadvantage. Hold on for a second. There we go. That's going to be 13 damage on the Knowledge Keeper. Nice. Uh, let me edit this. Let me edit it. Let me edit the Knowledge Keeper. <laughs> Failure to edit the Knowledge Keeper? This no, angers no, the, this knowledge anger keeper. the Knowledge Keeper! <laughs> Okay, now it's ally phase. The assistant librarian, seeing that Charles is in great, both Charles and Mianir are great in grave danger, uh, realizes that the next phase is player phase and uh, <clears throat> heals Charles for another twenty-five health. Ooh. Wait, I thought you said that the knowledge keeper only had one health bar left. It does yep. have one health bar left. Mm -hmm. What are these three the health bars? bars. Uh, bottom bar is the number of health bars it has. So, because it's one-third, that's the one health bar left. What are the other two, then? Special and health. Uh, I, wait. I, you said the bottom one was how much health it had. Total number of health bars. Top one oh, is current okay. health bar. I see. I see, I see. Yeah, green, the green one is always health, is, is always a current HP. Uh, purple one is always special, as you know. And then the yellow one is how many health bars it has left. Well... I don't think I really need to say what I'm going to do here. Okay, well. Yeah, I know, the result is the same. <laughs> Quad shot. Wham. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, Charles, you uh, knock your arrows, and you fire them. You, you draw your bow, and you fire upon the, button, uh, upon the Knowledge Keeper. And the Knowledge Keeper, all these arrows sticking out of his breast, nods, simp simply nods, and says, Yes. You have done well in completing this trial. This pleases the Knowledge Keeper. <laughs> I shall grant you the knowledge that you seek. Ooh, interesting. Now, allow me to see this book that you uh, have brought. First, allow me to uh, renew your lease for this for the secrets of the universe are no small are in no small amount. You are awfully kind. Here you are. The knowledge keeper picks up a rubber stamp in one. Of, take, <laughs> the knowledge keeper picks up a rubber stamp in one of his talents and you just look. There, your lease is renewed. Now do not bring it back late next time, or you shall anger the knowledge keeper. <laughs> okay. Your kindness sends. Strange, interest in trials knows no bounds, Knowledge Keeper. Thank you kindly. Now, let us see to this about these secrets of the universe that you have been pondering. Opens the book. Ah, yes! The answer to the question of the life of life is... And that's where we're going to end the session. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I on... I, I, I wasn't sure if you were either going to end the session there or do so, say something like, kill every last one of them. <laughs> no, 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 that wouldn't fit. Yeah, kill every last one of them. Okay! Okay! Bam! I'm not, sure I believe, I'm not sure I believe that is actually the greatest idea. What the hell is that accent? Uh, <laughs> I can't believe everybody has, everybody's adopted, adopted the Transylvanian accent. <laughs> You gave it to the Knowledge Keeper too! <laughs> this is the power of Transylvania! <laughs> it's not vampirism they're spreading around, it's the Transylvanian accent! <laughs> <laughs> we did the monster mash! It was a great And then they do... Mash. They do the mash. They do the monster, monster mash. mash. <laughs> the monster mash. It was a graveyard <laughs> smash. <laughs> Christ. Mjolnir awakens All from right. a thousand year slumber. Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Someday I want to bring back the Knowledge Keeper. <laughs> Someday. Eventually. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for. Wow, we actually didn't get to be very meme this time. The Knowledge Keeper was the most... The, worst the Knowledge Keeper was funny, yes. Yeah. But we didn't have to rely on Time Deer for comedy. Wait. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Did no. someone say no. Time no. Deer? <laughs> we were
were so close. <laughs> <laughs> I have been summoned. It was only a matter of time. I didn't need this. I didn't need this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys on next cursed run. <laughs> see you next hopefully time. It'll be, hopefully, it'll, it'll be a cursed run because I want to get this story moving. Hopefully, all right. Hopefully. I've been sitting on the Babel building arc for so long. <laughs> I want to see my boys and girl. I want to see them. I also <laughs> want to see them. All but right. we need Kid Hecky having not got an episode. <laughs> okay, guys, we go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know. I don't know what's happening tomorrow. I don't know what's happening on Sunday. <laughs> we'll we'll figure it out. Bye bye. Yeah, no, tomorrow we're bye guys. Arcade oh, okay. Uh, bye guys. Arcade, okay. Arcade spirits is Arcade Friday. Spirits. Thank you, Scott. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Good night, and make sure you always please the knowledge keeper.